I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting test question. The question here is, Anil has a difficult shot to make. His ball is 100 meters from the hole. He wants the ball to land 5 meters in front of the hole. A 20 meter tree is between his ball and the hole, 40 meter from the hole. With the base of the tree as origin, write an algebraic expression to model the height of the ball if it just clears the top of the tree. You can always pause the video, understand the question, make a sketch and then write the solution. Here is how I will approach. So let's see that's the golf course we're talking about, right? And uh, what really is happening is that We'll make a projectile motion. Let's say ball is hit something like this, right? And it lands. After landing, it moves some distance and then lands into the hole. So that is what the situation is. So it says Anil has a difficult shot to play. His ball is 100 meters from the hole. So that really means that the distance from here to this point is 100 meters, right? He wants the ball to land 5 meters in front of the hole. So this distance is 5 meters. He wants the ball to land there. A 20 meter tree is between his ball and the hole. 40 meters from the hole. So from this hole, the 40 meters. So center is Let's say at 50, okay, so 40 will be kind of here, right? So we have a tree here, let's say. Okay, let's make like this, okay. So we have a tree at this position. And from this position, this 40 is that distance. Is it okay? 40 is that distance. And of course, 60 will be this distance. With the base of the tree as origin, so what we want here, we have no choice, but we have to use this base as the origin. With base of the tree as the origin, write an algebraic expression to model the height of the ball if it just clears the top of the tree. That means we are also given this point, right? If that is the base, then the y-intercept for us is the is the height of the tree, which is 20 meters. Is it okay? So height with time. Okay, I shouldn't write time here. Okay. Okay, let's think about it like this. Oh, so we are talking about some minus time because the ball is hit from here. It reaches this point later, correct? Okay. So the y-intercept is 20. Now I hope the situation is very clear and we are in a position to write down the equation, right? How do we go about? So we can say that height of the ball in meters is equal to A times. If I consider these two as the x-intercepts, then the one x-intercept is 60 units to the left. That means x plus 60, right? The the other one, uh, okay, let me write, make it x now. The other one here is 5 less than 40, so x minus 35. Do you see that? So that becomes the other x intercept. To find a, we can use 0 and 20, right? That's the point. So I could write here 20 equals to a times uh, 0 plus 60 and uh, 0 minus 35. So we get 20 divided by 60 times minus 35 as the value of A, right? So that could be simplified a bit. We could just divide this and then we have a value of A. Let's write down. So we could do 2 times 3, right? 
Okay. So we get A as equal to minus 1 over 3 times 35, right? Which is 105. Is that okay? So with that, we can write down the equation as h of x or y, I mean, sorry, h of x equals to minus 1 over 105 times x plus 60 times x minus 35. Is it okay? So with this, we could actually write down our equation. So let's read the question once again. With the base of the tree as origin, write a algebraic expression to model the height of the ball if it just clears the top of the tree. So that is good enough. We don't really have to write in standard form, right? So that's good enough. So that really shows the projectile motion and the position of the ball at any instance of time in this case, right? I hope that helps. So this is basically height of the ball with respect to distance x, right? That is better. Okay. I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.